75 year old Nigerian dies on arrival in Lagos Airport. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. A 75 year old man named Withheld has died at the Lagos Airport in Nigeria's commercial capital. The man arrived in the country on Monday via the Motala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, aboard a flight operated by Delta Air from the United States of America. Now, this is very sad news. This is very sad. And for him to embark on such a journey, ah, someone that old. Well, let's find out. Maybe he was with an ailment. Maybe he was not. What is the cause of a death? Is it because of a traveling, the distance, the sitting down? Let's hope, you know. Let's just find out. Now listen to the rest of the news. Sources at the Lagos airport told Channel Television that the man died shortly after the aircraft touched down and taxied to the finger for passengers to disembark and move into the airport terminal. The airport sources said further that the deceased passenger was suspected to have suffered a prolonged underlying ailment before embarking on the flight. The sources said the reactions of his family members who came to receive the call showed that they suspected that he would be brought to the country dead. His remains were said to have been deposited in the hospital morgue. No further detail has been obtained from the airline regarding the development. Okay, this man was actually sick. Ah, he's a very strong man. Sincerely. That means he never wanted, you know, his family members to bear the cost of having to bring in his corpse. He was tired, maybe. Maybe he was tired and maybe, you know, after fighting for such a long time and you just take that decision. Somebody who have been who have been, for instance, on life support and, you know, the family members are like, there is no closure. That life support is there beeping on a daily basis. This person does not move. This person does not do anything. And, you know, they just, you know, let us have the closure that this person is no longer with us and they plug it out. So in this instance, this man embarked on this journey himself and maybe he just wanted that for himself. God rest his soul sincerely. And God continue to um, show his family members, give them the fortitude to bear the loss as they prepare for his burial. Very sad one for this festive period. Ah, oh, sincerely, this is very sad. May he so rest in peace. He saw his coming, never wanted to be a burden to his children, flying his corpse to Nigeria, considering the expenses. He's a good man continue to rest in perfect peace. What I just said earlier, it might be that this man have seen, look, they have treated, they have, treat, they have treated and treated and this thing that maybe they have found out from doctors that look, this man is not going to survive it. So he maybe just took that decision for himself and told his children to just prepare. It is indeed very sad. Why we witness in Nigeria airports while coming from abroad can only give you heart attack to any person that does not that is not used to it. A lot of mess. Thief, <laughs> thief here and there with their COVID-19 and vaccinates. Not be small here. It is the, okay. It shows that the man. Okay, this man could have died from blood clot to his brain. This happened to the elderly who must have sat in one confined place for a long flight, up to 9 to 14 hours, thereby depriving the blood from proper circulation throughout the body. Older people are susceptible to block clots during long hours of flight. I also mentioned that, that it might just be okay, apart from the fact that he is even suffering from an illness, he was flying. 75 years? No, no, no. That age is too fragile to, to be on a flight. Sincerely. It would have been better he died in the country they brought him, they brought him from than coming to die in Nigeria. Huh. Okay, everybody with their own opinion. <laughs> Everybody with their own opinion. So, um, I think the family members, was, they are going to be, like, relieved. Sincerely. You don't know, you don't want to know the cost of bringing a corpse. Like, somebody that is not alive for bringing the person down to the country. No. You don't want to know. So, finally, it is sort of a relief to them, especially that this man, there has been a closure. I think he has taken his time to say his goodbyes to 
to people, you know, unlike, you know, there are deaths that happen just sudden and there is no goodbye, there is no closure, nothing, nothing. Not that this one is good, but, you know, all die and die, but at least the family is going to be relieved. He died in the country, the expensive is low. To me, nothing is strange about his death. It can happen everywhere. Let us avoid painting the picture of what it is not because of a society we are in. Soon they will target to be Omicron. If you listen to Rob Boss, a member of European Parliament, you will understand that there is something secretive about Omicron variant, vaccines and vaccination. According to him, sources are proving no jab of vaccination can protect anyone. Hmm. Okay. Okay. You see, abroad, it is never a bed of rules. Most of the black men and women overwork so, so hard to make it over there. The stress is never a joke. So when the 90% of your strength will be used, all in the name of making it, what do you expect? May his soul rest in peace. Amen. Amen to that. Amen to that too. Amen to that too. And um, may his family members be consoled and comforted that at least, you know, he died within the, 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 the country. They can actually, um, they have this closure now, you know. He's no longer struggling. He's in, he's in a place where he's no longer struggling. They don't understand saying, oh, he's, he's feeling pains and we don't know how he's faring. Sincerity is a very sad closure, but at least they have it. There is nothing like you are not with your old man or old woman, your mom, your dad, he or she is in pain and sick. You cannot ascertain the level of pain she's feeling. You're always traumatized by, I don't even know what he or she is going through. Then finally, you're not getting closure. It is sad, sincerely, very sad. But at least the family has a closure. And of course, they are no longer going to be in a place of pain again. So, um, we cannot take away the condition of our airports, the travel, the sitting down. All these things can play a role. Especially on someone who was sick. Like this man was clearly sick and he is an aged man. So, all these factors contribute. Might not be this illness, might build the illness might be, um, you know, blood clotting, might be a restriction of airflow, might be the pressures and the stress. Sincerely, everything contributes and, you know, the thing is, at the end of the day, this man is dead. Hopefully, the family has a closure because he was sick. And now, it is knowledge for them to plan towards the burial and give him a befitting one. And we continue to send our condolences, even though we don't know the name of this man. <laughs> they don't they didn't tell us a name. I hope he finds they find solace that you know he is now maybe no longer feeling the pain again. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for sending in to listen. And until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.